Hello everyone, Chico here. Today is somewhat of a special day since instead of another deck play video, I decided to make a little discussion, which I haven't done in a, in a while. However, this topic seems to come up every now and again, making the community somewhat polarized. I'm talking about the possibility of implementing a set rotation system into Yu-Gi-Oh. There are some people which would love that to be implemented, while others wouldn't. Both sides have their points, and I'd like to somewhat analyze those, the possible impact on the game, my personal thoughts, and what should happen for the system to be implemented into Yu-Gi-Oh. Before we begin though, remember to like, comment and subscribe if this type of content suits your fancy. I'm on the road to 1000 subscribers and you can help me get there. A special event is planned for that occasion, so stay tuned. Now, back to the topic at hand. Like in any discussion, it's best to first define the terms one will be using so it's clear for all sides what is being discussed. With that, the possibility of misunderstanding plummets just like DP's price after the May 2022 ban list. Therefore, let's first define what set rotation actually is. In most basic terms, it's a system in which the company in charge of a card game decides which cards are viable for competitive play based on their latest release date. In most card games the time frame is about a year or two. Afterwards the cycle begins anew and new sets and new cards become viable for competitive play. Let's first think what are some good points of set rotation. There has to be at least few since so many games both successful and not use this system. One well, of the first one that comes to mind especially for a Yu-Gi-Oh player like myself is the power creep. With the knowledge that sets can rotate, it's possible for the game designers to somewhat reset the game's power level at the beginning of each rotation, basically preventing the power creep spiral from getting out of control, something that Konami has been struggling for years. Additionally, set rotation allows new players to stand on a similar ground with the more experienced ones. Every player has access to the same cards. It can also prevent unintended interactions with the newer cards with the cards released earlier. For a Yu-Gi-Oh example, I'd like to look at Summoner's Art. This spell card allows for the search of a level 5 or higher normal monster. It became popular in 2014-2015 with the release of Clifford, since it was able to search the level 5 Clifford scout. Why is that important? You see, at the time Summoner's Art had one printing, as a rare in tactical evolution and wouldn't be reprinted until the Masters of Pendulum structure deck in December 2015. This made the card extremely valuable since Clifford was meta at the time, and that made the price jump to over 40 bucks a piece. This sort of interaction would have been impossible with set rotation since Summoner's Art wasn't reprinted at the time. This also means that the card's price would have been as high as it was. Set rotation also has a set time frame, meaning that players can prepare in advance to get their hands on the first set in the new rotation season as quickly as possible. Not to mention that in an instance a new mechanic becomes too overpowered or completely falls flat, it will just expire along with all the cards in reduced in the current rotation. I'm mentioning this since in Yu-Gi-Oh's history there were people who stated that the game died due to insert mechanic here. These people would most likely come back to the game if they knew their hated mechanic would expire after a few years. The argument most commonly used by set rotation opponents is the card's availability for competitive play. Set rotation can make some decks completely illegal for tournament play, which can turn off a lot of players. Additionally, a lack of set rotation makes for some interesting combination between old and new cards. The latest instance of something like that occurring, that at least comes to my mind, is the Infernoble Knight hand loop. The combo used an old card, Smoke Grenade of the Thief, which at the time was a common from Dark Beginnings 1 and Legacy of Darkness, making it at least a 14 year old card at the time. It was another instance of the Summoner's Art situation I mentioned earlier, however it's still really interesting to see some old cards still see viable play 15 years later. Who knows? Maybe that Battle Ox meta will happen in 2033. Not to mention that set rotation can make a collection utterly useless. With every new rotation, the player base is forced to get their hands on the newest set in order to compete. With set rotation in place, you cannot be like Trev, Sparado, Lestat, or heck even me and stick with one deck for effing years. Let's be frank, one of Yu-Gi-Oh's main selling points is the lack of set rotation. This alone makes it stand out from the TCG crowd which primarily uses this system. It might be due to the fact that the game was designed and created in Japan instead of the US, but this is just speculation on my part. It's still apparent that Yu-Gi-Oh was designed without set rotation system in mind. Should that be applied to the game, a complete reboot would need to happen. It would have to 
be so, since just applying set rotation on the game as it is now would be a borderline moronic move. A complete overhaul of not only the cards but also the sets would have to happen. Additionally, the amount of possible decks would have to go down drastically. Still having the same amount of possible decks in the game and introducing set rotation would require Konami to either introduce gigantic sets or dish out main sets at a higher rate than Bushiroad releases Vanguard. Most people that advocate for set rotation tend to forget about this little fact. Now, wrapping everything up, I don't think that adding set rotation into the game is a good idea. It might have been possible 20 years ago when the game just started, but now it's a bit too late to make this change. And not piss off almost the entire player base. What do you think about this topic? Should set rotation as a mechanic work for Yu-Gi-Oh? And if so, why? Leave your thoughts in the comment below, I'm really interested in reading them all. This has been Jacolo, I'm signing out. Peace!